Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Tanzu package management aspect of Tanzu Community Edition. Uh, I have a Kubernetes cluster running over here in AWS and I created it using the Tanzu standalone cluster create command. Uh, I am running Tanzu Community Edition version uh, 0.9.1, which comes with Tanzu CLI version 0.2.1. Uh, we are going to take a look at how to install packages and how to manage packages on uh, Kubernetes clusters. So the first step uh, is to add the repository that kind of bundles uh, the default set of packages that come with Tanzu Community Edition. Uh, this is similar to the experience in Linux uh, distributions. Uh, I I've already added this uh, repository to my cluster before, so I'm just going to list out uh, the repository in the default uh, namespace. Uh, we can also list out uh, the different packages uh, that come uh, bundled in this repository. So these are the default set of packages bundled in Tanzu Community Edition. Uh, you know, all the cloud native ones, things like uh, Prometheus, Grafana, and as part of this example, or as part of this video, let's go ahead and install Quantur. Uh, so to uh, install a particular package uh, we also need to know some information about the versions available in the repository and we can get that using the tanzu package available list and the package name command so here we have three uh, versions of quantur available let's uh, go ahead with version uh, 1.18.1 uh, the next bit is to uh, look for the configuration uh, that is uh, bundled in this package so if we just uh, run something like uh, tanzu package available get uh, the package name version and pass a flag called value schema we should be able to get uh, all the configuration bits and the default values uh, things like which namespace it gets uh, deployed in and uh, so on and so forth the cool bit around this is that all of these things are customizable so you can pass in your own custom config uh, let's go ahead and install uh, the package with the default uh, configuration so to do that all we got to do is run tanzu package install like give a name to the uh, package that is going to get installed i'm just going to call it contour this package name refers to the name in the repository pass the version and uh, if we had to pass some updated config then we would pass hyphen f in the part to the yaml file containing the custom config but i'm not going to do that uh, so this should be able to install uh, the default uh, configuration of contour and if we watch for uh, pods in all namespaces we should be able to see contour pods getting created over here while the package is getting uh, installed uh, while the package is getting installed let's also talk a bit about the tanzu package install list command which lists out all the installed packages uh, on uh, a particular cluster so right now we have contour over here and the status is that it's still reconciling if i run it again since the package has been already installed the status will change to uh, reconciliation succeeded uh, okay now that we have uh, contour installed let's go ahead and try a simple use case of contour uh, wherein we pa we try to pass some uh, traffic to the ingress and see that the traffic gets redirected so i'm going to create a simple uh, deployment around nginx and a service around that uh, deployment i'm also going to create uh, an http uh, contour http proxy uh, something of this sort just to uh, direct the traffic to the nginx instance that we just created and once we do that we should be able to uh, make a request to the address so in order to do that we need the address and we can get the address from uh, the service uh, envoy service so it is load balancer and we have uh, the external ip available with us since we have all the bits we need to make the request we can just run something like curl and make a request to the external ip over here this points to nginx and we can validate that quantor is working uh, so we have installed quantor we have validated the installation let's uh, go one step ahead and try to update uh, the package 
so here I have some custom configurations things like you know I'm changing the namespace to project quantum test I'm changing the envoy service type to something like node port so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, the update command so Tanzu package installed update command will update Quantour with uh, the configuration that I'm providing it with so if I run this uh, this this should essentially create uh, or delete the project Quantour namespace and create the project Quantour test uh, namespace which is what is happening over here right now okay so we have uh, installed Quantour we have tried to see how uh, we can update it we can uh, also uh, carry out other operations like delete on a package and things like that so the, the the point i'm trying to make over here is how easy it is to uh, install packages manage them uh, configure them and also since it is open source you can have your own custom uh, packages you can have your own custom configuration you can have your own custom repository with your custom bundled and you can do all of these things out in the open with the community uh, so that the developer doesn't have to uh, go ahead and uh, worry about all of the deployment aspects of a package but can directly work on the package uh, this is all that I had to show in this uh, video thanks for watching